Hi, Domenica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this tutorial today, I'll be showing you how to use these mini stapler sewing machines. Now this particular one I got from eBay, but um, I've seen them on Amazon and other online places and they're all fairly similar. Uh, it's a mechanical one, so you operate it just with your hand. Okay, I'm going to show you how to thread the machine up first and then I'm going to show you how to actually use it along with some extra tips as well to make sure that you're successful with these because they can be a little bit temperamental. Okay, so when you get your mini sewing machine out of the box it will probably already be threaded up for you but just in case it's not I'm going to show you how to do that first. So you have a little bobbin of thread that should already be on your machine. You can actually remove that if you want, if you want to change the colour um, or if you want to use a normal spool of thread you can use this longer spool pin here and attach it onto your machine like that. Okay, Or if you just want to use a different colour with um, on a bobbin you can put the little spool pin through and push it on like that. Okay, I'm going to use this bright pink one so it's easy for you guys to see. Okay, so to thread our little machine up, you need to pass your thread tail here through your first thread guide. Okay, and it needs to go from the bottom and out through the top, like that. Okay, your next thread guide is your tension discs here. So you'll find there's two discs that are held together with a spring. So you need to make sure your thread goes in between those two discs. There we go. Okay. So your machine should look a little something like this now. All right, the next thread guide is actually this little hook here under the needle arm. So this is a bit of an awkward step. So I tend to get my little pair of scissors and I just use those to get that thread up over the hook. See how many turns it takes. There we go. Got it. Okay. So you got the first thread guide here. Second is through the tension discs and the third one is uh, the hook there. Oh, my little tension knob has just fallen off. I'll just screw that back on. Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is thread the needle. So it's important to make sure that the needle is threaded the correct way or else your machine won't stitch at all. So the thread needs to be running from um, behind the needle and out through the front. Okay, and the best way to do this is to use this little needle threader. So put the needle threader through the eye of the needle Okay, like that and I'm just going to pass the thread through okay let's pull that needle threader through and the thread tail should follow it through the eye of the needle okay and then the last step, what you'll need to do is make sure the thread is going under this fastening plate here. So you can actually lift the fastening plate with a finger like so. Okay, so what I like to do is just lift it right up without pushing the needle bar down and then pull that thread through like that. Okay, and now your machine should be ready to sew. Okay, so to start sewing with your little machine, uh, I tend to hold it in my right hand. I have the thread tail coming off to the left here and the fabric will need to come in from the right because the fabric will move from the right through to the left. Okay, so to get the fabric under, I'll just turn it this way so you can see, you can lift the fastening plate up like so and pop your fabric under. Okay. And then to stitch, you'd simply just push all the way down until you hear a click. 
and then release it. Okay, you just keep repeating that. Now, when you get to the end of your sewing, an important tip, because this machine does a chain stitch, if you just take your stitching out and pull the thread, it will unravel all of your stitching. So when you get to the end, pop your thumb and finger on the last stitch and then just do another stitch until it releases from the hook underneath like that. Pull it through a little bit and then snip it like that, okay. So I'll just show you quickly. If you try and leave it like that and your thread pulls, it will start unraveling, okay. Now you don't want that. So what you need to do is turn your sewing over and you'll see the last little loop there. Pull your thread through to the other side by pulling that loop. And just by doing that, that will secure your stitching. Now to make it extra secure, if you grab your needle threader from before, if you pass it under the last stitch and put your thread tail through there and then pull it through and don't pull it all the way through, make sure you have a little loop left over and you want to pass your thread tail through that little loop and pull it and this should give your sewing some extra strength to hold in there okay so I'm just going to show you one more thing so if you were doing a uh, hem of a pant or um, some other kind of sewing where you don't want to, where you can't sew off the edge like that, um, I'll show you another option. Okay, so say I'm doing a hem, I've got my inside of the hem and this will be the outside, this is the part that will be visible, so you want your straight stitch on the outside of your clothing or whatever you're stitching. You would lift up that fastening plate, I don't want the whole thing to come up, lift up the fastening plate and put your fabric in. So I'm just going to do a few stitches just as a demonstration first. Okay, so say I've done my stitching and I want to take the stapler off here. Um, I don't want to finish the, the rest off. What I'll do is grab those little scissors and you just want to pull some of that thread through. You can do it with your hand as well. Just like that until you've got a couple of inches or so. All right, snip that thread. Do one more stitch and then you can lift up that fastening palette and pull your stitching out. And then the same thing, you just need to pull from the loop at the back just to secure your stitching. Okay. I hope you found this tutorial useful, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all my upcoming videos. If you're interested in seeing the tutorials for how to operate a handheld sewing machine that's battery operated then I recommend you check that one out. I also have a video for mini sewing machines and also these other portable mini sewing machines which are the ones I recommend for beginning sewers who are on a budget as you can find these on Amazon for around the $40 to $60 mark um, in the US or you can find them at Spotlight when they're on special for around $50 to $60 as well. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye!